All right, here's the uh, veggie patch coming along. So I've put the pineapple sage in the middle here. That's it there. And you know, because the uh, lemon tree there, it's just I think a normal Maya lemon tree gets, you know, sort of yellowy and white flowers. And then the nasturtium's just there. And that nasturtium will probably get um, mainly orange flowers. It gets, you know, some reddish and some yellowish flowers as well. So I thought, you know, that red in between there, once that grows bigger, will look in between and create some colour in the veggie patch here. So yeah, it's coming along. So uh, yeah, Erica wanted me to plant something beautiful, so I chose the pineapple sage. Because those uh, red flowers, when they start flowering a lot, you know, they do get quite a lot of them. I've just eaten a whole load of them. Because they're like little candies. I love the flowers on them. I eat the flowers more than the leaves. Um, because they taste like little candies. It's like nature's little candies. So they're very good for uh, children as well. A good way to get, you know, the children into the um, gardening and, and enjoying plants. Um, so yeah. Thanks for donating Erica and let's have a look at some of uh, the ways, uh, you know, to some cultivation facts and um, some health benefits and stuff. Alright, hello everyone. You're here with Benjamin Cowenberg from www.consciousazine.com and we're just on the back page, one of the back pages for Your Natural Paradise page. Now I've shown you in heaps of videos how to get to this back page through the front page, you know, just consciousazine.com or you can just type into Google, obviously, Consciousazine member notes. So I'm not going to show you guys again today. And um, today we're talking about pineapple sage. So let's see here. All right, so I, these are the names I found: uh, pineapple sage, honey melon sage, scarlet pineapple sage, tangerine sage, and then S Y N. I guess stands for synonym. I'm not sure. S rutilans. So, but most commonly around here anyway in Australia known as pineapple sage. So it's salvia, it's you know scientific name is salvia elegans. So that's elegant, hey Erica, you wanted me to plant you something beautiful? <laughs> okay so uh, commonly called pineapple sage or tangerine sage. 
is a perennial shrub native to Mexico and Guatemala. It inhabits Madrian and Mesoamerican pine oak forests between 6,000 and 9,000 feet. That's 1,800 uh, to uh, 2,700 meters above sea level. So the uses, the leaves and flowers of S. elegans are edible. And like I said before in my little video there showing you where I planted it, I, I really like the flowers. They taste like little candies. The plant is extensively used in Mexican traditional medicine, especially for the treatment of anxiety and also for lowering of blood pressure. Although scientific information about these medicinal properties is scarce, a preliminary study on mice found support for the plant potentially, potentially having antidepressant and anti-anxiety properties. So you can go have a look at that link there. If you want to learn more about that, that's just from Wikipedia. Pineapple sage has also been shown to have a dose-dependent antihypertensive effect, and I do feel that when I eat that and a lot of other greens, actually. Attributed to its action as an angiotensin 2 receptor antagonist and inhibitor of the angiotensin converting enzyme. Okay. So it stops anxiety. Uh, the lama, Lamiacea or Labiatia, the mint or dead nettle family it's in. They're a family of flowering plants. Pineapple sage, and that was all just from you know going through wiki. Here's another article. Pineapple sage is a herbaceous perennial with scarlet red flowers growing about you know one and a half meters tall. Uh, I've seen actually bigger, a little bit bigger, almost two meters because it was this on Google Images there's a girl standing next to a plant and it's just taller than her. So I don't know how tall she is, but yeah, I'd say it gets a little bit bigger, but not much. It is a great butterfly and bird attractant, with studies indicating it is one of the local hummingbirds' three most commonly visited plants. Ah, well consider me a hummingbird because I love those little flowers too. <laughs> Salvias have a long history of being used for many medicinal conditions. The genus name Salvia is derived from Salvia, which is Latin for to save. Okay, let's go down here to this next article on some cultivation. A half-hardy perennial, all weather, weather in zones 8 to 11. Uh, they're the permaculture zones. Pineapple sage likes well-drained, rich soil and lots of light, six hours a day or more. It needs regular watering. If you do forget to water it, it starts to droop. So you can just look when it needs watering if it's drooping. Uh, they'll root quickly. Uh, yeah, you can take cuttings, which is really good to know, because now I don't think I'll ever be buying another one <laughs> unless I move places. Which is annoying but yeah so you can take four inch cuttings and remove all but the top two leaves so okay almost any growing medium will work but I prefer sand says this person I just place the cuttings in a plastic bag a third full of sand I put the bag in an eastern facing window for a few weeks not sure where they're living so I just need sun Make sure to keep the sand moist at all times and you know face it towards some sun. Some of my cutting ha cuttings have rooted in as little as four days. If I think about it, I roll the cut ends in cinnamon, the poor man's rooting compound. And I just realized I've heard that before and forgotten it and refound it, so that's good to know. So cinnamon helps rooting, apparently, according to this person, and I have read it somewhere else as well. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind now. Through the herb, though the herb is generally listed as hardy to zone 8 or 9, the roots of pineapple sage overwinter in my zone 7 garden under 3 to 4 inches of winter mulch, producing a large clump of shoots each year. Remember it's perennial, so it doesn't die after one year. So I don't know where this person's living. The lateness of flowering is a serious drawback for gardeners in cooler climates where early frost usually precludes the flower show. 
at least in the garden. However, if the entire plant is brought indoors before it is nipped by the cold, it will bloom for quite a while in a sunny room. And that's from this link. Then we can go into the health. I thought that was enough on cultivation. A 2009 Irish University study, however, shows that common sage may aid digestion of meat products. Several cultivars of sage are grown either for medicinal or for culinary purposes. Three lobe sage. Okay. I think that might be one I know. Uh, pineapple sage, clary sage, and azure sage. Azura sage has got large blue flowers apparently. I wonder how that looks. Okay, so this article um, okay, it contains a lot of nutrition info, but um, I'm not sure it's on pineapple sage. I think it's just on sage in general or normal sage, and it looks copied from another PDF I found. So that's from this article. So let's go to the article. So here we go, and this is it looks exactly the same as this PDF I found. So I wonder if they've even referenced it. So sage herb herb parts. I'm gonna, yeah, okay, sage herb parts have many notable plant-derived chemical compounds, essential oils, minerals, vitamins that are known to have disease-preventing and health-promoting properties. The primary biological active component of common sage appears to be its essential oil, which chiefly contains ketones, or ketones, a thujone and b thujone. In addition, sage leaf contains numerous other compounds, including cyaneol, borneol, tannic acid, bitter substances like cornisol, cornsol, and cornsolic acid, fumaric chloragenic, caffeic and nicotinic acids, nicotinamide, flavons, flavon glycosides and estrogenic substances. These compounds are known to have counter irritant, rubefacient, we're going to have to look that one up, I don't know what that means, and anti-inflammatory, anti allergenic allergic, antifungal, and antiseptic properties. So let's look up this word here. Never heard of it. Rubefacient. Ah. So it, causes, it produces redness of skin by causing dilation of the capillaries. Okay. Okay. Thujone is GABA or GABA and serotonin 5HT3 receptor antagonist. It enhances concentration, attention span, and quickens the senses. I do notice that when I eat it. Hence, sage infusion has long been recognized as thinker's tea. Its, effect help, its effects help deal with grief and depression. Okay. Three lobe sage, estribola, composes flavon called salvagenin. Research studies found that vascular relaxant effect of salvagenin may offer benefits in the prevention of cardiovascular disease. Remember, cardiovascular disease is like the number one disease in like the Western culture. Heart disease, they're all sick fucks. <laughs> You need to love more people, that's why. This herb is an exception and so anti-conformism. Be your soul. This herb is exceptionally very rich source of several B-complex groups of vitamins such as folic acid, thiamine, pyridoxin and riboflavin, many times higher than the recommended daily levels. Okay. The herb contains, that's a bit ambiguous for me, but uh, the herb contains very good amounts of vitamin A and beta carotene levels. 100 gram dry ground herb provides 5,900 IU, about 196% of RDA. 
Uh, what's RDI stand for again? Regular daily. No, sorry. What's RDI stand for again? I forgot. RDI. Regular daily amount or something. Uh, what would I put? Food. Yeah, reference daily intake. Okay. So, you know, more than 100%. It's good. Vitamin A is a powerful natural antioxidant and is essential for eyesight. It is also required for maintaining healthy mucous membranes and skin. Consumption of natural foods rich in vitamin A known to help the body protect the lung uh, protect from lung and oral cavity cancers. Fresh sage leaves are good sources of antioxidant vitamin vitamin C contains 32 0.4 or 54% of RDA. Vitamin C helps in synthesis of structural proteins like collagen. Adequate levels in the body help maintain integrity of blood vessels, skin, organs and bones. Regular consumption of foods rich in vitamin C helps the body protect from scurvy, develop resistance against infectious agents, so it boosts immunity and scavenge harm, harmful pro-inflammatory free radicals from the body. S running out of time. Okay, sorry about that. The recording runs out after 15 minutes. Okay, where were we up to here? Sage herb, sage herb parts, whether fresh or dried, are rich sources of minerals like potassium, zinc, calcium, iron, Magnes, copper, and magnesium. Potassium is an important component of cell and body fluids, which helps control heart rate and blood pressure. Magnes is used by the body as a cofactor for antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase. Okay. So I did want to say one more thing before the outro. See how it's got all this stuff here. You know all these. Or what? What I find is, you know, eating greens. If you fill your stomach with, say, milk, meat, and bread, you've got less room for greens, which always contain like their own unique, like uh, things. Like for instance, parsley doesn't have these in there. Um, you know, and I remember parsley has eugenol, so you can see um, Tracy Somerville's $30 bandit for that. So my point is, you know, if you eat a lot of greens, you're going to be very nutritionalized. And um, actually, let's go and go ahead and show you um, what that can do to you if you want to uh, stay young and beautiful on the all-around health, you'll see in a second, all-around health page, which I've completely compiled. So if we go down on this page, where is she? Just waiting for it to load, because I got Stone Age internet in 2014. Now, when we want, we have the type of internet we really want. There'll be no internet at all. That's actually a Terence McKenna quote. <laughs> so I'm trying to find this post. Where is she? Where is she? Come on. Yeah. So she's 71. Well, oh, by the way, this lady's 90 too. And I think she's into yoga. Yeah, yoga. So anyway, just on the eating, because she's this lady says nothing about yoga or anything. Her secret: no meat, no dairy, just raw fruits and vegetables. One gallon of pure distilled water, which I would posit to you and put forth to you is the most important part: the pure water. A day with an hour of exercise. Be good to or end the exercise. Be good to your body, and your body will be good to you. So obviously all these things together is the way to go. You know, people will say, no meat, Ben, but uh, I'm an O-positive blood type, Ben. I need some lean meat. Well, hey, I know I'm an O-positive blood type, and I've actually got a um, 
eating for your blood type post here somewhere yeah, yeah eating for your blood type post right there where I went through my blood type and I like this guy because he says um, you know what m to eat more and what to eat less not you know cut this off completely cut only eat that and cut this off completely so I like that that one there but anyway let's go back to there and just view her again because look how young she looks she's 71 <laughs> so uh, there's a bit of um, encouragement you know to um, eat better <laughs> okay so yeah you know each green that I you notice in each video that I, I keep finding out that each different you know whether it's parsley or pineapple sage they all have different things in them so imagine if you're just eating a big salad a day of you know 20 different uh, leafy greens you don't have to take as much supplementation you know supplementation is part of the first bio bridge of slowing your aging but this is the way to do it because it's all natural it's more absorbable and all this so eating a, a you know uh, 500 grams of salad a day is what I recommend for starters that's for starters you know if you talk to uh, John Kohler from growingyourgreens.com which is um, the la the he has the most subscribers um, for any gardening videos on YouTube John Kohler from growingyourgreens.com he'll he's he uh, I remember in one of his videos he said his aim was to eat uh, I think a pound or a pound and a half of greens a day and he just pretty much lives off greens and should check out his videos because he's got like a thousand he makes like one a day I'm only making like one a week because I'm studying and stuff so yeah you know really think about that uh, eating more greens because it's going to be synergistic effects too not just additive effects the effects will be synergistic as well I am very that everybody should have a he was 40 years old when he first took the magic mark. He's one of my pages. So these are the type of posts that occur on here. This is a subsidiary of Consciousness Aim. 40 years old when he first took the 
magic mark. 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 I emphatically do not mark. believe that everybody should have a There are people who are on the fringe of reality. You knock them over into a cot. So thanks everybody for listening and I hope you learned something yet again and um, thanks for donating Erica. <laughs>